What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to Because Reasons, the show where I play what I feel like, when I feel like, and today, a very, very special day here. It's Phantom Dust. It is a remaster of Phantom Dust uh, that was an original Xbox game. That's right, the original Xbox, uh, developed by Microsoft for the Japan market and localized by Majesco, who I don't think are in business anymore, but we are here to play some Phantom Dust for a little bit, because this is a game that is a cult classic, and there are a handful of original Xbox games that if you don't have an original Xbox, you can't really play anymore. You have to have a functional original machine, and they're all kind of dying because they're 15 years old. Now, if you are not familiar with Phantom Dust, uh, the short pitch is that it is essentially an arena-based fighting action uh, third-person game wrapped in a card game uh, bit of mechanics. So you have your deck of cards, like say a Magic the Gathering or a Hearthstone, and you go battle with those cards that, you know, your, your skills appear randomly uh, in those arenas and you fight to the death with your opponents. So... Here we go. Uh, this is the single player, of which there are about 100 missions, and there are 300 skills to collect in this game. And uh, with those 100, uh, with those 300 skills, um, you have six different types of skill, and there are five different uh, fields or branches or uh, uh, faiths of skill. So uh, the thing of this game is that. At the time, it seemed pretty revolutionary. At the time, uh, having this thing with these all these skills to choose from and build your own decks, and the fact that uh, essentially uh, the environment here can be destruct uh, destructible um, is, at the time, felt pretty amazing. So we're going to lock on uh, to our opponent here. We're going to build our aura, which is how you use your skills, is by having a aura count here. You can see right now, right now it is five. And uh, you will go after your opponent. So yes, the a lot of the environments here are dis uh, destructible. And so there is, definitely is a, um, a measure of wanting to know where to go and how to go and that kind of thing. And generally, uh, there's no one answer to, okay, what is the best deck? There's no singular, this is the best deck to use, everyone at a high level uses this, this deck. There's, it, there's a lot of different valid uh, decks of skills to use in this game, which is why the multiplayer was always uh, so well regarded, was because uh, you kind of didn't have a one true answer for winning. And so you finish a mission, and you gain some credits, and you use those credits to spend and buy more skills. Uh, also some rewards and that stuff. So that's essentially the single player. It has an overarching story. You go and talk to different people and get new missions and uh, solve the mystery of why everyone has lost their memories if they go above ground for more than 15 minutes. But the real draw here obviously is the multiplayer. So we're gonna hope that uh, on this, I'm recording this on a, on a Friday afternoon that someone's playing the multiplayer. But actually, before I get into that, so as you might expect from a card game, uh, this was not in the uh, this was not in the original release. But this game right now is free. You can download this on Xbox One or on the Windows 10 Store right now for free. So if you just want to go, you know what? I bought the original game 15 years ago. I don't want to grind through all the single player. You can buy a 300 card pack, get one copy of all 300 base skills for seven dollars. Uh, and honestly, if they just sold the game for ten dollars, I would have bought that too. So the fact that this is an option for you if you don't want to grind through the story again, uh, I honestly don't mind that much. Normally, I complain. Normally, if the game was 15, 20 bucks and they wanted to sell you stuff on top of that, sure. But if the base game is free, have at it. Xbox Live multiplayer mode. The reason this game is considered a cult classic uh, is because there is a large amount of depth here in the multiplayer, and it's a lot of fun. So let's hop in here and see if we can't get into a game. Uh, we'll head to the Lightning uh, Highway and see if anyone is online to play. I mean, I would hope so because right now the game's free. So um, I will be Chunky, color four Chunky. 
Looks like we got four in here pretty fast. Uh, I don't know how, you know, well-versed they are in this game, but, you know, it's quite possible I will lose. That's okay. So, to give you a bit of perspective on this game, it came out uh, spring of 05. And uh, thinking about 05, fall of 05 was... Um, I need Aura here. Fall of 05 was the Xbox 360. So, that thing hit pretty soon after... Uh, this game came out, so, uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, Sonic BOOM! I missed, I missed, so, the skills have a di- the, the, the skills have a distance that you have to be aware of when you use them. So, either you have a medium range, short range, long range type, type deal, and you have offense and defense, I've only got two aura, so, uh, this is gonna go real crap for me, gotta get the hell out of here. And you can definitely use the environment to your advantage. Uh, cause this guy is trying to whip my ass. I need three aura to use something. I don't know what that did. I honestly don't know what that did. Uh, and I'm going to die! Yeah, that's definitely a, uh, longer range skill. And I'm getting my ass kicked here, so this is the problem. Or, uh, flash hole! Nope. I'm going to die here. See, there you go. Destruction of the environment is cool. Um... But this guy is just hammering on. I thought he was that, that aura. Okay, I died. That guy knows what, knows, what he, knows what he's doing, and I'm terrible at Phantom Dust. Uh, honestly, it's been like a good 12 years since I played it, so that would kind of do it. And there is your end result. Uh, and I get 50 credits there just for participating, and I can use those to unlock more skills. But we're going to hop into one more because uh, I do enjoy playing Phantom Dust, even though it's been so long and I am so terrible at it now, uh, I still think it is pretty cool to mess with. So basically this game was at the tail end of Microsoft and their attempts to get more of a Japanese audience. So they got the people who, the, the creative minds behind uh, the Panzer Dragoon games, which I also love a whole lot. Um, and, uh, this didn't do well for them, but man, they, they tried. They gave it a good try, uh, it didn't really do what they had hoped it would do, uh, and honestly, they, they didn't even want to localize it, which was uh, a strange decision, but sure. So, Majesco was like, you know what, this game looks cool, we're gonna localize it. And so they did, and yeah, it ended up being, you know, a cult classic type deal, but, uh, yeah, there's no way to play it otherwise. Uh, and now there is, which is awesome for a whole audience that might not have ever heard of it, uh, and now they can totally get in on what this game is. Um, and I think the internet just, uh, lag? Yeah, lag happens. Lag happens! Lag is happening. Go away, old FIFA! Yeah, there's definitely something, something, something going on here with, the uh, the lag, but... Oh, that's terrible. Someone's connection is crappy. Someone's connection is... I don't want any more defense skills. I mean, actually, I could use some more defense skills. I'm an idiot. I need Gust. Gust! Alright, so... Can I manage to... Fight this guy? He's getting hit by something. Gunganeer. There we go. Uh, that was not enough to... Deal with him... Uh, appropriately. And it's hitting the ceiling there, which is the problem. So, the dude who won the last round is probably gonna win this round. Uh, but I'm living a bit longer, so that's, I guess, helpful. Um, photon barrier is cheaper. Uh, and we'll take heat. And we'll take aura. I've only got this gun near. Oh, crap. That's a problem. So... It's important to know when to defend. And it's important to know when to attack. Uh, and... There we go. That helps. But my only attack skill right now is this gun Ganeer. Ah, that was too early. That was too early. And one damage. Yeah, this is going to be a problem if I can't actually get enough hits on him. Alright, so knowing when to block here is going to be uh, extraordinarily important. Crap, that was not soon enough. Yeah, his is faster than mine. I got to block and then fire. Uh, oh no. Nope. And skills will run out, so you can use them up until they're all used up. And that's a problem. Have one of those. Yeah, so this is gonna be a... A fight to the death here of skills and who can use them. And this is... Those are his orbs, right? So, uh, I'm at a disadvantage here. 
uh, with him on this certain playing field. I can't get any new skills right now, because mine are all over on the other side of the map, which is... Yeah, he just waited for me to do mine, because his are faster. So, that's gonna be... Yeah. A bad time. Anyway, I got 100 credits, uh, and I lost some more ranking, but that's kind of whatever. It's the internet. I'm never gonna be that good at the game anyway. So you can head into the shop here and buy an individual skill of these six classes. Attack, Defense, Erase, Status, Special, and Environmental. Uh, and they did, you know, they will cost the appropriate amount of credits to get those. You can also buy Junk, which are five random skills, which is a bit cheaper to buy because you don't know what you're going to get. It's basically a blind box, uh, which are very, very popular these days in internet games. Uh, the Arsenal case, which I need uh, one of these at some point. Uh, this is so... You are governed in your arsenal case, which is your set of skills, by how many schools you can use. And the schools here, uh, you see the different symbols in the middle there? There are five different schools to use. You can't use all five schools when you're building out your arsenal. Uh, so what you want to do is have a three school case, uh, because that will help you in your um, building and such. If you get duplicates, you can totally sell them for some sweet, sweet credits. And you can head into the lab to edit your arsenal. You can see out here, I have this arsenal that has two schools and uh, not three. Uh, and you can see what my different things are. I actually have way too many skills here. It should ideally be 15 uh, skills and 15 aura particles to build up my aura for using skills. Um, but that kind of is what it is. Um, but you generally get the idea of how to build this stuff out. You have all the, the details at your fingertips as to what does what, etc, etc. And you can display your entire stock list. You can see here I only have 48 out of the 300 skills having played for about three and a half hours. And back here in the lab in the single player mode, and you can see there's a little movie here of each skill, and you can get a good idea of what the cost is, what it does, and the distance. And all those things are very important to realize when you are building out your deck in the game. Anyway, uh, that is a brief overview of Phantom Dust. If any of that looks cool to you right now on Xbox One and on Windows 10 Store, it is free. This game was always really cool back in the day, and I'm always glad to see cult classic games potentially reach a wider audience out there uh, of video game fans. Anyway, that's Phantom Dust. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!